Hello and welcome back to Kendo Nagasaki 101, the channel where you can find out all about the mystical and spiritual work of Kendo Nagasaki, the masked wrestler and mystic. Okay, we're picking up from the video in which Kendo Nagasaki has made his debut in British professional wrestling and he was immediately regarded as a heel by the audience. Over the years of his stellar career that followed, Nagasaki's actions were often thought of as highly controversial, but what wasn't apparent then was that they were actually symbols and metaphors of a higher, more enlightened understanding. We're going to come right up to date for a moment and refer to the charity that Kendo Nagasaki has set up, which introduces people to Buddhist perspectives and techniques to help them find peace and inner strength and achieve a balanced way of life here in the rationalistic, mind-dominated West. While this might at first seem an incongruous contrast with Kendo Nagasaki, the brutal heel wrestler, when you look deeper, he has always been a character of such extremes, and this contrast is an essential part of what he seeks to share. At a recent Zen event at the Nagasaki retreat, a first-time guest remarked on some images of Kendo wrestling, which are hung in one of the rooms. She said, now that I've seen Kendo face to face, I'm surprised that his hands are so precise and gentle. Yet in those pictures, he's clearly using them to inflict great pain. It's such a startling contrast. It was then pointed out to our guest that at the same time as the brutal activities in the wrestling pictures had occurred, Kendo was also holding healing clinics every weekend at his home. So the perplexing contrasts went even further than the pictures showed and that such conundrums had begun long before that. As has been mentioned in an earlier video, young Yagenshi was introduced to katsu and judo healing by his sensei Kenshiro Abe, and these are the techniques which correct sprains and strains which arise during judo training. Yagenshi began healing outside the judo arena, and later Kendo Nagasaki was to direct him to apply it as widely as possible, and this was to become the foundation of Kendo's current work. But why, if he was a healer, was Kendo Nagasaki so apparently brutal in the wrestling ring? Why should there be such a contrast in his behaviours, and which was the real Kendo Nagasaki? The answer is that there is no answer to this conundrum. Throughout his long career, Kendo was in fact presenting his audiences with what is known as koans, unanswerable questions which are a central aspect of Zen practice. Koans put the mind out of its depth, and therefore making sense of a conundrum can only be done with understanding which has come from the deeper, intuitive self. There are in fact many aspects of Kendo Nagasaki which are koans in and of themselves. For example, in addition to the brutality slash healing dynamic, Kendo has said that a further crucial lesson that he wanted people to take from witnessing him in the wrestling ring is that life is dispassionate, often to the point of being downright unfair. In, for want of a better phrase, the theatre of wrestling, the combatants attract the loyalties of the audience. Everybody wants the baby face to win, and to see the heel be vanquished, and it's always more satisfying to see these outcomes after a valiant but tough struggle. However, because Kendo, the bad guy, always won, the audience's expectations were reversed. It's worth noting that in his victories, Kendo never resorted to purely underhand tactics like sun heels. He certainly bent the rules, often beyond belief, but he always won through sheer skill and agility. Once again, with the bad guy being so excellent to watch, another inexplicable contrast was presented to Kendo's audiences. For these reasons and more, Kendo Nagasaki's wrestling matches would remain vivid in the mind's eye, and their contradictions would continue to bubble away in the unconscious. In this brilliant and subtle way, Kendo was actually creating the conditions for opening doorways of deeper appreciation in his audiences. In contrast to an unrealistic and idealized view of life, Kendo showed people that sometimes what seemed bad may be being misrepresented by its appearance, and that goodness in and of itself was not enough to successfully challenge skilled opposition. Kendo was in fact inviting his audiences to go beyond simplistic conceptions of good and evil, and he illustrated that continual self-improvement is needed if one is to triumph against life's often unfair challenges. This depth of meaning behind Kendo Nagasaki's wrestling is a part of his overall spiritual work, and while Kendo, the spirit guide, is wiser than we can ever grasp, as preparation for his role in channeling the Nagasaki spirit, young Yagensha needed to gain an understanding of the big picture. That understanding came, of course, from Ken Shiro Abe in the form of his Kyushin Do philosophy. 
Many references can be found to Kyushindo relating to Judo and Aikido, but this was only one of the physical manifestations of Abe's whole philosophy, which actually encompasses spirituality and metaphysics. Studying under Abe, Yugenshi was to glimpse the true extent of Kyushindo. Because much of it is intuitive, it can't be transmitted with words, but much more has been revealed to Yugensha through his years of channeling the spirit of Kendo Nagasaki. Kendo Nagasaki himself has written that the pursuit of enlightenment is a lifelong journey, one which must be undertaken with joy and determination. And it was when he reached a certain point in his own destiny that he knew the time was right for him to open his home to those who also wished to take that journey. Centuries of Japanese Buddhist wisdom underpin Kendo's teachings, as practiced by Yugensho, by Kenshiro Abe, and by Kendo Nagasaki himself during his past lives in ancient Japan. In his work through his charity at the retreat, Kendo Nagasaki continues to heal, to challenge, to enlighten, and to help people grow into the very best that they can be through Zen and Kushindo and the vast spectrum of ancient and empowering wisdom that he shares. While he no longer wrestles, Kendo still holds true to that most fundamental aspect of his challenging reputation. When experiencing Kendo Nagasaki, you still never know what to expect. If you seek the peace at the heart of the warrior, perhaps we'll see you at the Kendo Nagasaki retreat. Well, once again, I'm afraid my time is up for this video, so please do come back to hear some more about the great Kendo Nagasaki. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you all again very soon. So as Kendo would say, onwards, bye-bye.